I'm Kelly Klaus and I am the life skills, one of the life skills teachers here at Harrison High School. I'm Grace O'Carroll and I am a special needs kid. Grace has a condition that is called OTC and it's an enzyme deficiency and it just affects the, um, the way her food is broken down and so she really can't eat protein. And um, I don't know if you've looked at any food or packaging, but protein is basically in everything. It's very hard for her when she sees the other kids in the program eating things and she's not able to do that. Um, and so it's just, it's very discouraging to watch her go through that. She just wants to be a part of the group. And unfortunately, she's, you know, had to deal with this for her whole life. Um, but she is on the transplant list now to receive a, a liver. And hopefully with that, um, once she gets that, then she would be able to eat whatever. And so it, it's, it's frustrating to watch her go through that. Um, but she copes pretty well with it, right? We try to stay positive. I keep telling her, you know, remember, you know, remain positive. It's, there's other people who have a lot um, more involved disabilities and um, we try to get through it that way. I feel like I caught older to understand what I went through, what my parents went through. I was like, oh my gosh, what did my parents do to deserve a kid that had disabilities? I just thought it was hard for them, hard for my family to go through. It was fun with um, the greatest woman and dad for a while that God gave me. I'm happy and I'm grateful for that. My name is Ricky Spear. I'll be here 19 years this May. Day custodian basically opened the building, turned lights on, delivered packages, cleaned the cafeteria. I've had it for about six years now, I think it is. And at first it was just a little tremor with one of my hands, and it has now progressed to both hands shake really bad at times. Memory is being affected. I forget what I'm doing, where I'm going. One of the conditions with Parkinson's now is is starting to happen is I start to see things that I think is there but they're not like figures or bugs, stuff like that. The more we check on the internet for research and stuff to find out about it, it's amazing the things that Parkinson's disease can affect. It can also affect your bladder, your kidneys, your prostate, uh, other things like that. And unfortunately, that's being affected too. It's just all the way around, is, it's getting more physical. It takes more and more uh, to keep yourself going. You have to learn how to dig down inside and pull out more energy to keep going. Hi, I'm Stephanie Rowland. I'm Gracie's mother. This is my husband, Jose Vera, Gracie's father. Um, we've lived in the community since I was a child. I went to Purdue and Lafayette, Jeff, and um, work for a local bank. My husband's a sushi chef. Gracie is our youngest. Um, she will be 16 on Christmas Day, so she is our Christmas blessing. When she got to be about 12, 13 months, um, her development levels were, uh, were delayed. Her, her, uh, she wasn't progressing as she should have been. Nobody could figure out what was wrong. We were told things like maybe she had allergies or maybe she was lactose intolerant. Um, different things and it was getting very frustrating. Um, so at one point we um, insisted on seeing her primary care physician here in town and um, it's very strange the way that it happened but that day when we took her in she kind of fell into a coma at the doctor's office and um, at that point he started taking us very seriously and said yeah I think there's something seriously wrong here. And ultimately by the end of the day all they could determine was there was something wrong with her liver function. They had us bring her back into the hospital that night and by the time we got there they had already had a team from Riley coming up to get her. So we all went down to Riley um, at that point and as soon as we got there um, this doctor came in, uh, Dr. Brian Hain line, um, and he knew exactly what was wrong with Gracie just by looking at her blood work. Gracie has a, uh, 
um, inborn error of metabolism, OTC, it's the acronym for something very long and hard to pronounce, um, but essentially it's a, um, her liver does not process protein properly, so when she eats protein or she becomes sick with some type of an infection and her body starts breaking down its own proteins, um, the ammonia level in her blood, uh, it becomes elevated. And we all have ammonia in our blood, most people probably don't realize that, and a normal level uh, based off of Riley's calculation is 35. At that point, Gracie's was 300. And what that does um, eventually is it cr creates a swelling in the brain, which if not controlled, causes brain, yeah. brain death. Um, so at that point, they were able to um, get her on medication to treat this, uh, this disorder and get her ammonia back under control. But over the years, Gracie has spent a lot of time at uh, Riley and other children's hospitals. Most recently, she had um, an episode of uh, elevated ammonia and it got up to almost 500. And at that point, you know, you're looking at likelihood of brain death. And so at that point, we decided that it was time to get Gracie a, a new liver. As of yesterday, she's on the list. There was a lot involved in getting her there, but she's there, and we are anxiously awaiting a healthy liver for Gracie, and we really appreciate the school and everybody's participation. It means a lot to us, so thank you. I love riding motorcycle, but unfortunately, my doctor has taken that privilege away from me now. So I have a really nice motorcycle that's sitting at home that I can't ride. Um, that, I like working on cars. I'd love to be able to ride my bike. Or I just enjoy watching videos on YouTube. It's pretty neat to do that. I touch TV a lot. Like when Grace is starting on this season. <laughs> My wife, we went together all through junior high and through high school, we got married at the, when she graduated. But my wife is my rock. Um, she's been there for me through a lot of stuff. I had a motorcycle wreck and she was there for me. She was more or less my right arm, left arm, and everything in between. I I love this group, like in God, the vampire movies. Just how I like, family, yeah, my family, 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 my best memory. And be with Kelly a lot. It's crazy. <laughs> Boops for Hope means a lot <clears throat> to me. Uh, people think that it's all about the charity money you receive and stuff like that but to me it's not it's the people that ask you how you're doing the understanding that when you're having a bad day just saying hi and good job keep it up uh, just little things like that means more to me than anything else really